Rock and roll star I've been interviewed here, guys. I just, I just love music. I mean, music is my life, and to be here in the Goway Arts Festival, I mean, it's, it's, it's super. You know, the last three years, uh, music is everything for me, and this is just a natural extension. Food is, of course, it's our passion. We're doing uh, James McGill's hot dog, so it's basically turf smoked sausage on the barbecue, customized eight foot barbecue. Uh, homemade burgers, of course, uh, with uh, an onion marmalade, and then there's a Galway based seafood platter, so the very best of local fish. Um, our own homemade uh, puccine, panna cotta, that's be a bit of puccine in there, something illegal here at least. In another life, uh, I'd be either a very bad rock star, but I'd be a very good sound lighting engineer. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> That's, that's the way the industry is these days. Food is the new rock and roll. Drink is out the door. <laughs> I'm coming out of the dark clouds. But she went away and she coffee is more valuable than oil at the moment because you can't drink oil. But you can drink coffee. And it tastes a lot, hell of a lot better than oil as well. Paul Rust is here because we're a local brand. We're here because we love the music, the Go Arts Festival. We're absolutely a pleasure to be involved with it. Well, it's, it's very upmarket. Our coffee ourselves, it's a unique coffee, it's our own stuff. We bring it in from a couple of different countries around the world. We roast it and we decided since it's good weather, good crowd, good everything, they should have good coffee. So that's why we're here. It's a legalised drug in a certain extent because if you drink enough of it, by God, you get high. Especially the Go Rust coffee. It's good. It's what we're all about, you know.